Okay, so uh, actually, um, um, I should not be here, but um, Christoph Dietzel, who is uh, a co worker of mine, and, and Christoph uh, is in the research team, and this basically is a high level presentation of a study which was presented, or so research paper presented at the ACM um, Internet Measurement System last year. So um, we all know uh, DDoS and it, it happens and we have seen uh, DDoS um, uh, with large volume traffics. We all remember the uh, DDoS attack on uh, Crips on security. It already has been an one and a half year ago in September 2016, and traffic grows more and more. So, and what this paper did is, we know, we all know BGP, BGP for uh, an announcing reachability information, but where there has only been little research on how to use BGP to restrict reachability information. And this basically is what we uh, know as black holing. In the uh, simple situation, black holing is provided by your upstream provider, by a set of communities or by a, a community. If one of your prefixes is attacked, you simply tag it with the black hole community, announce this more specific to your upstream, and then your upstream already drops traffic for this prefix at his border ingress so that the traffic does not even reach your network. The same goes for um, black holing at an IXP. It's a little bit more complicated. You typically uh, do not have to announce the um, black hole or prefix to be black hole to everyone, but to the route server, and then all the participants are able to pick it up. So what was research goal of the paper to see how the black holing is adopted internet-wide, to see what are the targets for um, used black holing, the black holing best practices, and the network efficacy. Um, this is again is um, what the researchers did. They analyzed and uh, digged through a massive amount of uh, BGP announcements and looked at different vantage points. And what you can see is how BGP announcement with black hole community, and meanwhile there's a standardized black hole community 666, but there are every um, internet service provider may still use uh, different communities to announce this, how this might propagate through different routers. So uh, routers are aware of it, might then drop, do I have a pointer? I guess I don't have. Uh, you see, for example, ASP2 gets an announcement from prefix B2 with a uh, community ASP2666. It evaluates this community and then simply drops the traffic. Whereas ASP are in the right, uh, left, right bottom corner, uh, does not recognize the, the community and then simply propagates the prefix to the collector. By this, um, what re the researchers found out, they took data from different collectors, both publicly available via root service collectors and so on, but also from a large CDN. What they were able to detect is that the number of black holing providers, that, these, that are those um, um, ISPs which uh, offer to their customers uh, the community or the ability, the feature to black hole prefixes, increased by 100%, whereas at the same time, the number of transit ASs only increased by 80%. The number of uh, black hole users increased by 600%, and we see an increase in number of prefixes by 10 times from 485 to uh, well over 4,500 and see w roughly 160,000 unique uh, prefixes. Um, on the 
uh, most right table, you see events, black hole prefixes, and um, maybe not visible, there is A, which was an attack on the Russian government with a really big speak, uh, spike, then the attack Olympic Games in Brazil, and also on curbs on security marked as SE. Uh, when we look at where the um, providers are, which are offering black holing services, they are mostly in the US, Russia, Central Europe. Um, we see out of yeah, 180 ASs, a lot of, of the 242 transit access providers, and roughly 10% of the IXPs also uh, offer these um, feature. Same for black housing users, almost the same pattern. If we look into more detail to the black hole services, this is not surprisingly HTTP, mostly roughly 50, uh, more than 50% HTTPS, SSH, FTP. Then what they also do, did is they looked how far the black hole prefix is propagating. The, with no path, they were not able to detect the AS in the announced AS path. Zero means that it was announced at an internet exchange point, one, one hop away, two, and so on, and so on. Next is if we look at the duration of a black holing event. So what they did is the blue dotted line is the what they called ungroup durations. They simply uh, looked how long um, prefix, black hole prefix was announced. And then what they also do, did is grouped. By grouped, you have to look into the paper. What they did, they looked or they tried to, to, to aggregate it a little bit and to see what happens. And you see the, the huge difference. And the huge difference comes from that when you get attacked, you do not know when it stops. So what do you have to do? Because when you get attacked, of course, there is a service behind it, and you want only to black hole the prefix as short as possible. So what you do is you probe. You announce the, the black holing, and then you withdraw, see you are still attacked. If so, you uh, re-announce, and so on, and so on. And that, what is you are seeing, that is the if you do not group, it's a high amount, but if you start to group, that, that means if you, uh, then you see that the duration is, is way longer. So the conclusion is, uh, they say this is um, the first internet-wide study on, on black holing. They see that black holing in the interval, they looked at it, significantly increased maybe to cyber attack, maybe also that people take care, take more care of security and services. They also see a rise in the number of black holing users and prefixes, but limited geographical spread. This might, might be to the uh, circumstance where the traffic is. And perhaps there is also, besides black holing, where you completely drop traffic for a prefix, a need for more fine-grained black holing. And if you want to read more of it, uh, the detailed paper appeared as said in the ACM Internet Measurement Conference. And if you really want an in-depth explanation and have in-depth question, ask one of the researchers, please. And that's for me. Thank you. We have time for just maybe one yeah, question. Yeah, sure. Rüdiger Volk, Deutsche Telekom. Uh, I'm always amazed by uh, when uh, black holing uh, <coughs> requests are discussed and uh, no mention about the authorization used for that is made. And I wonder, I wonder whether uh, the research actually looked at that 
If they were actually just measuring and looking what happens in the network, obviously the authorization is not, be, is not uh, expected to be visible. Uh, on the other hand, also if an increased application of a technique is, uh, is observed, of course, uh, a careful observer would ask, well, okay, if the increase is there, is it all authorized? I guess you also, uh, you already answered your question, Rydia. <laughs> Thank you very much.